I spent one week trying the fly lady routine and let me tell you, it's been quite a ride. Or should I say, a fly. <laughs> In this video today, I will show you what a week of the fly lady system looks like. I filmed every detail of this routine by the book. I wanted you guys to be able to find a video that easily explains the entire routine with a visual example. So I did all the exact way she says to do it so you can be informed and decide if you want to become a fly baby. If you have ever been on her website, then you may have felt like this. I've been studying her website front to back and I have been flustered to say the least. She's got a lot of information on her website but some of it is outdated. But have no fear, I have the most updated information here. So that you can just simply watch this video and start your flight next week. Grab your notepads and start taking notes because we are starting now. So there are three parts to her routine that I will show you today. Your daily tasks, which are split into morning, afternoon, and evening. Your daily focus, which is a different task that you will focus on every day depending on what day of the week it is. And zone cleaning, which will be explained later in the video. If you want to skip to another section at any point, the timestamps are in the description. So we're going to go ahead and begin the daily routine, starting with Fly Lady's morning routine. First thing in the morning, make your bed. It's been so refreshing to go to sleep at night without having to make the bed first. This one's definitely a keeper for me and I love how it makes my room instantly look clean. Next on her routine is to get dressed to shoes. That includes putting on a little makeup, fixing your hair, you know, making yourself not look like Frankenstein's sister. Like this video if this is how you look first thing in the morning. We can fix that ladies. God provided a hope for us. He created makeup and hair gel. Now it was interesting wearing shoes all day every day. It really did give me motivation. Something about wearing shoes makes you feel like you can do anything. You're on top of the world. But really I'm just on top of the souls. I know, I know, I gotta slow down on the jokes. I don't wanna throw you guys out of your chairs laughing. Now while you're already in the bathroom, next on the list is to do a swish and swipe, which means to wipe down your sinks and toilets, including inside the toilet bowl. That's where the swish comes from. If you have more than one bathroom, then you can alternate between them. So Monday, clean the sinks and toilets in the upstairs bathroom. Tuesday, do the downstairs. Wednesday, upstairs, you get the point. This may seem like a lot, but it's really not. And it's nice to not be afraid of somebody asking to use your bathroom. Oh, you need to use the bathroom. Sorry, but our, our toilet's broken. <laughs> it's a funny story. It, it just happened to break an hour ago. <laughs> Next on your morning routine is to empty the dishwasher or the dish drainer in my case. I like to start my coffee and then empty the dishwasher while it's brewing. And yes, I am wearing a Triceratop hat. My boy and I are going to be dinosaurs for Halloween, so we get to wear our costumes every single day until Halloween. Lucky me. Next, you're going to start a load of laundry. Fly Lady says that a load a day keeps the chaos away. I had already done laundry the night before, so I'm just going to put it all away this morning. Now, as a family of three, we don't really need to do laundry every day. But I made sure to check every morning to see if I had a load to do, and if I did, I would. And lastly, check your calendar to see what today holds. That completes the morning routine. Sit down, get a drink, relax. Now that's enough. Get back up. It's time to start your afternoon routine. Okay, don't be afraid. The afternoon routine is short and simple. First task of the afternoon is to ask yourself, what's for dinner? This question is acceptable as long as you say it to yourself and it's not made by your husband. Is there any meat that needs to be taken out of the freezer or is there any early prep that may make your life easier in four hours? Next, drink your water. Fly Lenny likes to focus on not just cleaning tasks, but our health as well. This water bottle is a great motivator for staying hydrated. It lists all the times on it so you know just how much to drink throughout the day in order to hit your goal. I can link it down in the description if anyone wants to get themselves one. And let's work on our health a little more and do the next task, which is 15 minutes of exercise. So I have to admit to you guys, I did everything by the book, like I promised, except for exercise. I exercised the first two days and then it just didn't happen the rest of the week. I'll exercise when I'm dead. You know, I'll be flying in heaven. That's gotta burn some calories. And next on our afternoon routine is to spend 15 minutes zone cleaning. We interrupt this program to explain zone cleaning. Zone cleaning is a detailed cleaning list that you work on throughout the month. There are five different zones to clean, one zone for each week of the month. 
but some zones are shorter than others. Fly Lady wants you to set a timer and zone clean for 15 minutes a day. If you have not decluttered your home yet, then instead of cleaning your zone, declutter your zone first. Fly Lady says you cannot clean clutter. Once you've cleared the clutter, then you can zone clean. Okay, back to that awkward mom. And lastly, reboot your laundry and that completes the afternoon routine. Are you ready to get into the evening routine? Well, ready or not, here I clean. The first thing on the evening routine is to shine your sink. She doesn't even say to do the dishes. She literally recommends that you take all the dishes out of the sink and shine your sink, which I thought was a little strange, but I'm gonna do the dishes first because I've got time on my hands tonight. First, I'll scrub my sink to get all the food off and then I'll soak the strainers in a vinegar and baking soda mix. While that soaks, I have a bottle with vinegar and Dawn dish soap and I will spray it all over my sink and let that soak as well. And fast forward 10 minutes, I'm gonna scrub my strainers now and look at that shine. Next, I'll use the mixture I made to scrub my sink a little more and my sink is now shiny and happier than ever. Moving on to my hot spot. Hot spots are the spots in your home where paper clutter slowly takes over. Fly Lady says to spend only two minutes a night clearing your hot spots. It is amazing how much you can get through in just two minutes of time. Try it. You'll be astounded and it may just keep you from being late on a forgotten bill too. Next on her list is to put things you will need for tomorrow at your launch pad. The launch pad is a place in our home where we typically set things that's close to the front door such as a bench. This keeps us from forgetting things before we walk out the door. Though I'm not really going anywhere in the morning so I'm just gonna get my Instapot out to remind myself that I need to cook chili tomorrow. And before you start getting ready for bed, check your calendar to see what you have planned for tomorrow and start your dishwasher so the dishes are clean and ready to be put away in the morning. Now you're gonna brush your teeth, wash your face, and when you shower, whenever that may be, Fly Lady says that's a good time to take a little shampoo and scrub your shower so that you don't get any mold growth or soap scum. And lastly, before you get into bed, simply lay out the clothes you will wear the next morning and go to bed at a decent hour so that you can be energized to get through the next day. And there is your daily routine. Sound like a lot? Well, it may feel like that at first, but Fly Lady is all about making things simple for you. Oh, I just washed my hands? Well, let me use the same paper towel that I used to dry my hands to wipe down the sink. Hey, I'm already in the shower? Well, let me clean it right now while I'm in here. I've continued to do the daily tasks even after making this video, and it's honestly been helping me a lot. My house is cleaner and my stress levels are lower. So you've got a good idea on what one day looks like on the Fly Lady routine. But what about a week? Well, that's where we're headed next. But first, I wanna invite you to subscribe to my channel because I will be posting more Fly Lady videos in the coming weeks that will help you on your journey to a clean home. Okay, Fly Lady has a focus for every day of the week. So let's start with Monday where we will complete our weekly home blessing hour. Every Monday, we are gonna bless our home, as she puts it. So get out your timers for this because she has a list of seven cleaning tasks, but she only wants you to spend no more than 10 minutes per task. If you go over 10 minutes then stop and move on to the next because this is only supposed to be no more than just about an hour of cleaning. So let's start blessing our home. First on her list is to change your sheets. So I'm grabbing all of my bedding including Jace's sheets and I'll just throw them into the washer. By the time I'm done with this home blessing hour I can come back downstairs and put them in the dryer because otherwise I'll forget and then I'll be sleeping in a wet blanket and nobody likes a wet blanket. Now moving on to dusting. I've got my regular duster and my floor duster. I'm setting my timer for 10 minutes and let's get dusting. I've recently discovered that under the couch is indeed the most dusty place in my house. It's also a great place to keep your toys because they always end up under there anyway. I got a good amount done in 10 minutes and now I'll set my timer again because it's time to clean the windows and doors. Wow, here's a chore I just completely forgot about. Perhaps because my husband and I are always having the curtain war of the century. I open them, he shuts them. I open, he shuts. You get the point. Which side of the curtain war are you on? Let me know in the comments. Time to set our time again, because it's time to say the word time too many times. Let's vacuum. Now I notice she doesn't have sweeping on her list because many vacuums work well on hard floors these days. Yeah, not mine. So after I vacuum my area rugs and carpet, then I will spend the remainder of the 10 minutes sweeping as much as I can. I was trying to move as fast as I could, but sadly, I ran out of time before I could get to my downstairs bathroom, but I know the rules. Stop 
restart your timer and move on to the next task, which is emptying your garbages. Now this barely took me even two minutes, so I definitely enjoyed that. And now we'll purge our magazines. Magazines? Do people actually buy those anymore? Well, I'll just set my timer and tackle paper clutter instead. But seriously, what can you learn from a $5 magazine that you can't learn on the internet for free? What is this, 1994? Hey, that was a cool year, I was born. And so is this song. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. Now set your timers again and pull out your mops. The floor duster doubles as a mop, which is cool, but it's not my favorite mop. I'm considering buying Fly Lady's Big Mop and doing a review video on here. So tell me in the comments if that's a video you'd like to see and I may just purchase it. While I put my freshly clean sheets back on the bed, I just want to share with you a quote from Fly Lady's website to encourage those who struggle with the idea of not getting things as clean as you want due to putting a time limit on it. Housework done incorrectly will still bless your family. It may not be done the way your mama taught you, but it will be done. This will make your home shine and you will smile. I am so proud of you for blessing your home. The fly lady has a beautiful soul and I've come to love her not just for her routine, but her heart for people. Okay, Monday, done day. Hello Tuesday, how are you? Today is plan and play day. So this is a day to maybe pay your bills, call to make appointments, plan activities for the weekend. But what I spent most of my time doing was meal planning. Meal planning has changed my life for the better. I never have to wonder, what am I gonna cook for dinner? It's wonderful. My husband says he wants to try lasagna pizza, where you make lasagna except you use frozen pizzas instead of pasta. Like stacking the pizzas in between the regatta and the sauce. I don't know. He really wants it, so I guess I'm gonna try it this week. And then after you're done planning, Fly Liddy says that we get to play. Spend the rest of the day doing something you love to do. No, I don't eat ice cream every time I have a free minute. <sighs> Wednesday is anti-procrastination day. I did a couple of things. First, I cleaned out my fridge that was long overdue, and I had a lot of food that turned into science experiments, as the fly lady would put it. And after I cleared it, I just gave it a quick wipe down because I have another thing on my procrastination list that I also wanted to get to. I was supposed to be done painting my porch in August, but here I am, finishing up in October and trying to beat the coming snow, which you never know when that could come in New York. On to Thursday. Thursdays are errand days. So I broke out the stroller and walked to the bank. I had a check that I needed to deposit, and then we walked to the store and picked up a few things. I don't think I need to explain much more. Friday is clean out your car and purse day. We all know how many random things end up in our purses, like a toy fishing pole or, oh, a level. You never know when you need to straighten something out. I had a lot of random things in my purse, so I'm glad I took care of that. And next, the one thing I've been dreading, cleaning out the car. My husband and I share a car, so that means my fate is to never have a clean car again. It's pretty dirty too, but I will save cleaning it for another day, one thing at a time. I think this car needs a separate Fly Lady car routine just to get it looking nice in there. And Saturday is family fun day. We went to a butterfly conservatory, which was fun. And Jace loved the tortoise. Apparently, turtles and tortoises are different animals. I learned that from Blippi this year. Lastly, Sunday is Renew Your Spirit Day. Fly Lady says that this is a day to take time for yourself and build you up with your favorite things. If you can't renew your spirit, you can't renew the spirit of others. And hey, have you ever heard of the clean mama routine? Well, I tried it for a week and you can find that video right here. I wish you all happy homes and clean heart, oh, clean hearts. Wait, happy homes and clean hearts. I wish you all happy homes and clean heart. <sighs> Clean homes and happy hearts. Why can't I get that right?